Uh, we've got a question on YouTube. What tools do you guys recommend to troubleshoot and report on compliance of not installed updates um, on Windows endpoints? Well, that's an Android question right there. <laughs> uh, it depends um, on if you are on the Intune side of things or the Config Manager side of things or if you have um, hybrid join devices, enter join devices. Um, the easy answer for a lot of organizations these days um, are the Windows Update for Business reports. Um, and I can show those real quick if you'd like to share my screen, Johan. Mm -hmm. I can and I shall and I will. Thank you, sir. So the Windows Update uh, for Business reports, uh, we can get through here. Uh, so in our Microsoft 365 Admin Center, we go to Health, Software Updates, uh, and then check the Windows tab. Uh, here you will find, if you have not configured this, uh, you'll find some good documentation on how to configure it uh, because there's some log analytics work that has to happen in the background, um, <clears throat> as well as some uh, configuration profiles that you have to configure on your devices. Uh, so for this... Um, once we have that configured, we can go to these reports. And give it just a moment to load here. And we'll start to see some information about these devices. Um, so this first overview tab, we get a high level of how many of our devices are actually up to date with the latest updates, how many have in-service uh, feature updates of Windows, how many are end of service, how many are in the insider. So some good high level information. Uh, but of course, then we can dive into the quality updates and start to get more information there. Uh, we can see how many devices we have on each version of Windows based on um, a month, a specific month or a specific patch level. We can do the same for feature updates. We can do the same um, here for driver updates as well, if we have them assigned uh, through the driver and firmware update feature in Intune. Um, and then you also have a delivery optimization tab uh, that shows how um, how well you're doing for delivery optimization in your tenant. Um, so that would be my starting point, but I do see some follow-up um, uh, follow comments here that Windows Update for Business and these reports aren't available in GCC. Um, so coming from the GCC perspective and on-prem WSUS, um, is Config Manager in play? Would probably be some good community dashboards for um, Config Manager. I know that Patch Might PC also have a commercial one as part of their advanced analytics yeah. offering. So even if Config Manager is at least in play, um, like Johan said, a lot of uh, community solutions there. I actually even like, it's a community solution, but it's from somebody at Microsoft, um, is a nice set of reports uh, that can be used with Config Manager. Um, let's see. Yep, the Patch My PC uh, also has a free update dashboard um, for SSRS. So that's available. Um, there are some reports over at System Center Dudes, um, which are great reports. You have to pay uh, a, a small amount for those, um, but they're great reports. Uh, so those are the three off the top of my head, but those all rely on Config Manager. If it's just um, standalone WSUS, nothing comes to mind off the top of my head. 
Uh, it's been a, it's been a long while since I saw a standalone WSS. So. Yeah. Um, but I'd be happy to share these as at least. Um, I find a lot of value in these couple of solutions right here. Um, just plugging them right into Config Manager and having them utilize the information that's already there um, or that's already likely there from your endpoints. So I hope that helps. I also just noticed at the top of the uh, Patch My PC page for the free SSRS reports, these are now deprecated, but I wouldn't be entirely surprised. Take this with a grain of salt. I wouldn't be entirely surprised if they still work, um, but they also have a uh, Power BI report as well. So I'm going to share all these. Thing is with this, not a lot has changed um, in terms of reporting. So even a lot of these older reports will work just fine in my experience. 